chapter 12 the basis for universal human values and ethical human conduct A recap in section 2 we explored the content of right understanding discovering the innate harmony at various levels of existence right from the human being to the whole existence this included an appraisal of the characteristics activities and needs of the self and the body and also the salient aspects of synergy between these then we also understood human to human relationship and the values characterizing these relationships leading to harmony in family and society we went further to explore the inherent interconnectedness cyclicality self regulation and mutual fulfillment existing in nature finally we conclude the study by identifying coexistence in the entire existence this manifests in the form of harmonious interaction of units both in coexistence in the all pervading space the space is no activity transparent and the units in nature are submerged in space being in space units are self organized energized and fulfill the relationship with each other leading to complete existential order all the above investigations were carried out through a pro- process of self exploration to gain right understanding about ourselves as well as about all that exists while the process of self exploration has to continue to enable realization and understanding we can start looking at the significant implications of such an understanding in our life and profession uh, this forms the subject matter of the five chapters of this section here we can also visualize how such an understanding of truth of existence and our ability to live in accordance with it can pave way towards individuals as well as collective human happiness and prosperity which can be sustainable such an understanding enables the human being to achieve harmony in oneself harmony with other human beings and harmony with rest of nature this unfolding of truth through the process of self exploration seems to be the direction of evolution for the entire mankind this also is a process of human life it is for us to get adequately convinced through our own exploration that this is an effective way of establishing peace within as well as peace in the outside world in this section we will try to understand how the right understanding provides the basis for universal human values and ethical human conduct enabling their natural assimilation further in the light of right understanding it becomes clear that developing ethical competence is a potent way to ensure professional ethics it also facilitates the development of holistic technologies production systems and management models to pave way for the holistic way of life let's start appreciating these implications and also visualize how we could undertake the journey towards a holistic way of living values in different dimensions of human living based on our understanding of harmony we participate in the larger order our participation at different levels is our value the identification of values starts from the participation of the activities of the self in the definite conduct of the human being based on realization and understanding further the participation of the human being 
is seen in two forms behavior and work we studied about the values of behavior as the nine values in relationship trust respect affection care guidance reverence gratitude glory and love we discussed them in detail in chapter 8 likewise working with material things we have to ensure their right utilization enrichment and protection in doing material things with utility value and artistic value makes it conducive for right utilization by human being so these are the two values with respect to material things it results into prosperity for human being and preservation of the rest of the nature in appendix a12 one a consolidated list of human values is given for your further reference universal values naturally emerging from the right understanding to begin with let us understand how the inculcation of universal values is a natural outcome of the right understanding from the discussions of section 2 we can easily infer that there is an innate harmony and orderliness in the existence the human beings only need to understand it and not to create it the universal human urge for happiness and prosperity is actually the quest for understanding this harmony and being in tune with it the universal human values are the parameters which designate this harmony at various levels for human participation and highlight the universal purpose of understanding this harmony thus the universal human values are manifestations of the truth of existence that is coexistence in various dimensions of human participation in the existential order these values are naturally acceptable to all human beings and conducive to human happiness only our ignorance our wrong preconditionings our illusion about ourselves about the nature of sensory interactions and about our relationships with things around us lead to all the difficulties and confusions in appreciating and inculcating these universal values continuous self observation and self exploration enable us to realize this truth we are able to appreciate the universality and the innateness of the human being on our own right we can experience how much how such a realization leads to fulfillment at all levels once we are able to get rid of our false preconditioning and anchor ourselves to our natural acceptance the inculcation of human values becomes spontaneous and this is true for all human beings and for all times this is what all of us really cherish and as human beings we also have the requisite potential and where withal to realize it this understanding is the source of great solace relief and confidence to the whole human race the universal values are the basic realities in existence and are always there it is for us to discover these through a self exploration and learn to live in accordance with these in order to be happy you will also find that these values do not need to be enforced through fear or greed or false beliefs the values need not be enforced through fear of punishment the values need not be enforced through greed or enticement of incentives these values are sustained in the long run because they are naturally acceptable self exploration leading to right understanding is the way to serve the purpose this gives a very strong base to ensure value based living in the society any attempt to cause fear or greed will fail to promote harmony in the society or organization definitiveness of ethical human conduct formally there is a lot of ambiguity about what exactly ethical human conduct is 
and whether it is definite and universal or it is variable right understanding provides the clarity about this definitiveness let us ask the following questions what is the innateness of human being what is our humanness in reality as we identify a neem tree or a mango tree by its well defined specific characteristics which uh, always remain the same as we identify water or air or iron or a cow by their respective characteristics their innateness similarly let's also try to identify the innateness of a human being as a mango tree has a definite mangoness iron has a definite ironness cow has a definite cowness similarly let us understand our humanness the right understanding gained through self exploration enables us to identify the definitiveness of human conduct which may also be called the ethical human conduct it is the same for all human beings so we are also able to understand the universality of ethical human conduct which is in consonance with the universal human values accordingly all debates and confusions about what is ethical for one may not be ethical for the other etc also gets dissolved gradually let's now understand the salient features of this definite human conduct that is the ethical human conduct as we have already explored in this book each one of us wants to have a definite conduct but presently we may not be able to ensure that this is because we are presently living on a, on the basis of our preconditionings our assumptions mm -hmm. which are not in consonance with the truth the right understanding of the existence as a whole but this situation neither gives satisfaction to us nor to others we do see the human being struggling to find out what the right conduct is and in the process exhibiting a wide variety of attributes we also see people debating endlessly about what they consider to be ethical but un unless we have the right understanding we are not able to identify the definitiveness of human ethical human conduct the notion of definite human conduct which can also be called ethical human conduct was explained in chapter 6 which while discussing harmony in the self the same is briefly men mentioned in this figure conduct includes what we think our imagination and what we do as well as the basis our basis of this thinking and doing doing assumptions or understanding in figure 121 it is shown that b1 or right understanding in the is the basis of thinking and doing b1 motivates and guides our imagination that is b2 and finally it required if required it is expressed through the body in the form of behavior work participation in the larger order definite human conduct is the sum total of the state of harmony within expressing itself and participating in harmony with the outside world the harmony in the self is naturally expressed and extended to all levels of our being as follows as is depicted in the figure the ethical human conduct can be further grasped in the terms of values policies and character as follows one human values understanding of role of human being in existence once we have right understanding relationship harmony and coexistence we are able to see our natural participation or values at all levels of being from individual to family society nature existence 
this participation or the human values are definite and form the basis of our ethical human conduct to policy thought of how to express live with human values having identified the definite human values this becomes the guide for our imagination desire thought and expectation our imaginations are always in terms of how to fulfill this participation how to live with these values the comprehensive analysis of how to live with these values how to express these values is what policy is these policies are therefore naturally conducive to human welfare conducive to enrichment protection and right utilization of self body and physical resources and at the same time they are conducive to the welfare of every unit in existence three character expression of human values in behavior work and participation in the larger order human character is the expression or the interaction of the human being with world outside in terms of behavior work participation in the larger order with definite values guiding our imagination and a comprehensive analysis of the ways and means to live with these values its expression outside in terms of behavior work and participation in the larger order is human character this can be understood in terms of the following first chastity in conjugal relationship that is chastity in husband wife relationship right acquisition and utilization of wealth by the way of labor using cyclic and mutually enriching production processes such as agriculture manufacturing of clothes a construction of buildings machine manufacturing etc third kindness in behavior and work ensuring justice in behavior and preservation of rest of nature in work leading to fulfillment of comprehensive human goals at the same time compensating for deficiencies created created in the past for more detail on the definitive human values refer to appendix 8 12 on this basis we get a definite notion of ethics we get a definite criterion to judge whether an act of human being is ethical or unethical and a definite way to work for ethics in life and profession we can see that the ethics in the living of a, a individual can be imbibed only through inculcation of values policies and character and this is possible through the process of ensuring right understanding through self exploration at the same time we can see that a human being is with ethical human conduct coupled with quizzed professional skills only can be a good professional namely a good engineer a good manager a good teacher and researcher a good technocrat or a good bureaucrat etc we can further qualify the ethical human conduct on the basis of the following one ethical conduct implies that it is naturally acceptable to me and does not give rise to conflict within two ethical conduct implies that it is in consonance with the right understanding of the reality the underlying harmony at all levels three the ethical conduct implies that it leads to mutual fulfillment with other people and mutual enrichment with the rest of nature thus the ethical conduct is self satisfying people friendly and eco friendly development of human consciousness as explained earlier the journey toward right understanding in fact brings a transformation in the human being from animal consciousness to human consciousness we talked about this in chapter 2 having gone through the process of self exploration in detail we can now see how it helps us to initiate the development of our consciousness accordingly it affects 
a change in one's goals, priorities and selection criteria. In animal consciousness, we give priority of the weightage to physical facility, to the maximization of sensory pressures, to accumulation of wealth. Our criteria of evolution are primarily body-centric, targeted towards maximization of comforts and sensory pleasures. As indicated earlier, this propensity proves to be a misery trap for human beings causing multifarious problems within as well as in the outside world as we are experiencing nowadays. As we transform to the human consciousness, we are able to base our thoughts and activities on right understanding, give relationship a higher priority than physical facility, identify our physical needs and ensure it through cyclic and mutually enriching production, enriching rest of the nature as well. Implications of Value-Based Living The implications of value-based living can be studied in the following terms. At the level of individual, transition towards happiness and prosperity will take, take place at the individual level. The individual will slowly start getting rid of the contradictions and conflicts within and attain a state where he is able to answer his or her questions by exploring within the self. This will help the individual get rid of the tension, frustration, depression, one-upmanship, psychosomatic disorders and other such situations that he or she doesn't want to be in and facilitate definite and predictable human conduct. The feeling of self-regulation will reduce the occurrence of diseases and in turn the feeling of insecurity. This will help the individual lead a more fulfilling life. B. At the level of family. The value-based living will facilitate peace and harmony in the family with more occurrences of just and fulfilling behavior. People will feel prosperous and the feeling to nurture others will grow in the families. This will help raise the feeling of togetherness in the families and reduce the family feuds. The prevalent problems in joint families will also wane once human being living is based on human consciousness. Such harmonious living will also help reduce the consumerist behavior in family celebrations like marriages, parties and other social functions. C. At the level of society, when a relationship gets higher priority over physical facility, fearlessness and mutual trust develops in the society. Discrimination on the basis of body in terms of gender, age or race, physical facility in terms of wealth or pose, and beliefs in terms of isms, sects, etc. will be reduced. The conflicts between communities and nations which are manifesting in the form of melodies like nexalism, terrorism, communalism and international conflicts etc. can be solved to a large extent without any cohesion or war. The feeling of undividedness will surface in the society. Fulfillment of human goal will start getting to the fore in our plans and projects at all levels and gradually a human order based on trustful relationships will slowly emerge. D. At the level of nature, human beings will be in a better position to place themselves in relation with other units in nature. The problems of pollution and resource depletion can be handled smoothly when people are able to judge appropriately their needs for physical facility themselves and the mode of fulfillment is eco-friendly. Better methods of farming and production will help cut down problems of greenhouse gases, ozone depletion and ecological imbalance etc. The population of animals and birds can be saved from extinction and forests can be replenished. At this juncture, it will be worthwhile to ruminate over the above mentioned possibilities and explore to convince yourselves 
whether these can be really be the outcomes of right understanding and value-based living.